Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. So I just want to start off by saying thank you guys so much for like the sweet messages about my new piercing which is exactly what I wanted. It looks exactly how I expected it. I love it so much. But anyways, while we're here, because in my last vlog, you guys saw me go to a smoke shop where I got Delta 8. So I think what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna go to this place. It's literally right across from us, the Delta 8. Legalize it. Legalize what? My mom has never been a smoker type of girly. Because they were so knocked out on like whatever drug they did. I don't know like if it was pills or heroin or whatever. So it doesn't trigger her or anything. They would melt them on a spoon and put them in their veins with a like needle or whatever. And, and we actually live in a state where medical is legalized. Father, is it legal? It's legal. Legal here. So she's around it a lot, just like naturally. Her sobriety is super important to me. And I would never do anything to like sabotage that. I've never drank in front of my mom. I'm not that type of girly pop. What's the deal with this pop life? And so I just had to like clarify those things. Anyways, I'm actually about to go out um, to do a few things. So first stop is my mom had to go inside of her bank. Make that money, 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 that money, money, money. Your daughter is rich. So I actually stayed in the car and I edited the beginning of this video. So yay me. So we just got back to my apartment to put away my groceries. My mom goes, I need some of this green eyeliner. And I was like, which one? <laughs> and I'm like, what is she talking about? So I came out here. It's all over her eyes now. <laughs> it looks good though, don't it? Yes, it looks great. It says epic wear. She thought it said Eric Wilson. I need glasses. <laughs> it's oh my God, it's bomb. Yeah, I don't wear it that often. I'm older and so I look... You know, anything that makes me look good, like, just like, yeah. You look great, mom. Okay, so next up, we're currently at the Walmart. I have to get a few things, so let's do that. So we are at Old Paris Flea Market, and my mom parked where she likes to park, about a mile away. So my mom likes to get these sheets from here. <laughs> so she's deciding between these three colors. Boy, so now you're trying to choose two of these. Yeah, I'm sure I just get all three because I'm here. Oh, she already has. What colors do you have at home? I have the light green, gray, a dark purple, turquoise. And turquoise. The brand is Unido's collection. Brown. Oh, do you like brown? You want to get brown? It's open. Oh, yeah, I love that one. I'm getting that one. Oh, yeah, look at that one. Now she's looking at tie-dye because tie-dye is her, her jam. And she thought I'd like it. How's it going? Hello. Yeah, here. Throw the horse, the bean bags, and her. Sadly, I forgot my sunglasses. I'm waving at my mom uh, because our next errand is she is paying her phone bill. Are you a gold digger or not? Gold diggers hide their agendas. This and I am editing again because moments like this, I can just like get caught up and edit. Um, so yeah. Okay, so next stop is we're about to go to this store called Kato. But I've been here a few times. My mom never has. You're the one who drove her away. So let's go into it. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Y'all, I have realized recently I am such a sunglass girly. Like, I was Not literally so obsessed with, with I don't know what it is, these. but I didn't buy a single pair. So I feel like that's going to haunt me probably the rest of the week. So I want to know which one For should I go back the and rest get of the night? Your vote. You guys, look at the sky. It looks better in person, I will say that. But can you zoom in on it? Yeah. Oh. I'm zooming in now. Wow. But it's like red. Later that same evening. Hello, hello. So I just got home. So we went and saw Christmas lights. So that was actually really fun. That's the first Christmas type of thing that I've done with my mom. So <laughs> Wow, that was a big yawn. I still have my Lego bag right there because I like the bag so much and it was the first time I've ever actually been into a Lego store. And I was like, I don't know what to do with the bag. Hello, so it's pretty late at night. I actually just came back inside from walking Twinkie. I don't know, maybe I'm half asleep right now. I am like half ass trying to get ready to go to bed. My hair's up, earrings are out, but I do have something like massively on my mind. So I recently have been talking about like how I am feeling more confident and 
I am like loving myself more. And there was a moment today, um, actually when I was in Cato, I was walking towards the mirror and I just like noticed my legs are drastically getting bigger. I do suffer with lymphedema, but I also have lipedema. If you guys don't know, because I know not everyone watches every single one of my videos. And I just noticed today that like they are getting bigger. It's like, I feel embarrassed. I feel ashamed. It makes me feel like unworthy of love. But I, I know that like on the self-love journey, I'm going to have moments like this. That's a huge bitch. I, I don't like my body. I hate my body more than anything. For the lack of a better term, I'm just feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. And it's like I have to continuously remind myself that I am more than this. I am more than my body. And it just makes me really emotional because like it's kind of hard to be in that headspace because for majority of my life I have been my body. I have always been fat amber. That's who I was when I was in school. Every day I was bullied. Um, I was the smelly kid. I was the fat girl. Um, that's how people knew me. I was fat Amber. And I have always been, oh, look at her butt shelf. You could set coffee cup on there. Babe! Like... Hey! I'm trying so hard to find my style and find who I am as a almost 33-year-old single woman. But then I have moments like this where I'm like, I have done so much damage to my body that is not repairable. Lipedema is also very common for people who are skinny. Um, it's not because of my weight. If it wasn't for the fact that I've continuously always been morbidly obese, literally my whole life. But I know that it wouldn't be as bad as what it is. I'm not gonna let it ruin the current journey and path that I am on. It's just right now, I feel shitty. Those are some meaty thighs, bro! Right now, I feel ugly, and I don't like feeling that way. It's hard to see beauty in something that is so made fun of constantly online. For my whole life, I never loved myself. And it's like, now that I finally am, I would literally do anything in this world to go back in time and tell my younger self, love yourself now. You know, we're supposed to love ourselves, cherish ourselves, and respect ourselves and find ourselves beautiful inside and out. Let your health be your number one priority. I know the world isn't treating you good. I know that you are sad and I know that food is your comfort, but find a better outlet. I would do anything to go back in time right now. I wanna tell my younger self that more than anything. I, the only thing I can do is like fix my present for my future. I'm morbidly obese. We all know this. We all see this. Seeing my legs has a put me in a really weird headspace. This is me. It's like every day I see my legs. I know they're big. You know, when you see yourself every single day, sometimes you don't notice, oh wow, look at my weight loss. I'm looking good. That's kind of what I'm going through with my legs right now. And I'm just afraid. I'm just afraid. Now I just feel like I'm rambling. I just feel like I really wanted to get this off of my chest. And a part of just like my new life I really want to start being more vulnerable with you guys. This is me. Up close. When I think of my body, I don't think of someone that big and grotesque. Normally this is something I wouldn't share. I wouldn't vocalize out loud, but I don't know, like something was telling me to do it and to document this moment that you can feel confident and you can love yourself and be on that journey, but still find things about you that you really truly dislike. How can anyone fucking love me? How can anyone ever look at me and be like, this girl's beautiful and this girl deserves love. It's not me saying that I don't love myself, but in this moment, I just have a lot of like regret. I ultimately just want to be more than my body and more than my legs. And Show me your leg. I can't even love myself. Now that you guys have seen that, maybe that is what you see every time you watch my videos. Maybe so. And I just feel like it's never going to be the case. I'm going to end this video with the clip that I'm talking about. I'm always trying to see through your flaws. Cause I know that you got so much more to give. You made a real mess, but I miss you though. 
Peace. I can go to sleep when I'm alone again.